Right, Toyota champs, and now it's time for gaming for the masses. This is the Dell G515. I uh, cannot wait to get my hands on this. We're going to unbox it, have a look, quick look at the thermals. If you go back a couple of videos, I did have the Alienware 17 with a 16 gigabyte RTX 3080. That's a 165 water, and that thing is off the charts, right? The thermals are amazing. It's just a beast. Stay tuned for the review for that. But if you want to see me compare this to that, because remember, when you get to the G5, there will be some compromises made to get it at the price point that's why this is gaming for the masses because it is at an aggressive price point i'll leave the latest prices in the description but has it got everything we want for the price you know is it worth getting well let's unbox it do a quick thermal test and find out now if you have a look here on the side of the box it's g5 15 5510 dark shadow gray 15.6 inch full hd Whoa, look at that, that processor, i5-10200H. So this will be a really aggressive price point, having an i5-10200H, never had it before. So that's gonna be very interesting to test that out. Is that a 35 watt or a four core or something? I don't know. This one has eight gigs memory, 256 SSD, Nvidia graphics and Windows Home. Now, come on. If you want to upgrade the Windows Home to Windows Pro, look in the description. I've got a discount code for you. You also can get Office 2019. Check out the description there. But um, yeah, there's some of the compromises. We do have Wi-Fi 6. But the good thing about this is it's not going to break the bank, right? And we know how expensive gaming is now. So by all accounts on the videos I've seen so far, like the product demo videos I've seen from Dell and that, it does look like a step up in build quality. So if you have a look here, we're gonna have the power lead. How much power has this brick got? That's gonna be very interesting to see. 180 watts, 180 watts. So there we have it there. We'll take out the unit itself. You know, economically packed. It's a dark gray unit, so it doesn't feel that heavy. Oh, look at that finish. That is nice. I like that finish. It's not going to be fingerprint magnet either. Awesome. So it is plasticky. Of course, at this price point, and that's what you're going to get. But it does seem to have the sort of Alienware DNA in sort of the way that, you know, the vents come out the back here. It doesn't feel that heavy at all. Yeah, so far I'm liking this. I like that grey finish. It's really nice. It's matte. Let's have a look there. Open her up. On the back we have USB Type A, we have HDMI, I don't know what HDMI that is, I'll check that out. You do have the barrel charger there, left hand side USB Type A's, that nice little G there, that stands out, that's nice. And we have Ethernet, awesome, and we do have combination audio jack there. So no USB Type C and no Thunderbolt. This is where the compromises are made but you do get it at that nice aggressive price point. Again, check the description for the latest prices, but uh, yeah, it looks good so far. Okay, so here it is, the Dell G15. It's actually called the Dell G15. On the sticker it says Dell G15, and on the literature it says that as well, but some people might call it the G515 or, or G5, G15. Confusing. So, the first thing is build quality. Very good. I'm very impressed with it. Has that nice finish. I like the keyboard. It is plasticky, but it does have a nice, clean, sort of neutral grey look to it. Sort of darkish grey. And the orange keyboard really offsets that grey really nicely. So I do like that. It does have a 120 hertz Full HD display. Now I can see here already that, you know, it's not super bright. It's probably around 250, 300 nit mark. If I was going to guess, I will test it in my full review. So it is a step down from the Alienware. But yeah, of course, the compromises but it does have good viewing angles and it's matte so you know there's not much reflections to it so in terms of specs we have an intel 10th generation 10 200h i haven't had one of those before but yeah that's what we got four gigabyte gtx 1650 we know that part we know it off by heart i've seen the xps and other gaming laptops so it is you know entry level low end gaming but to be perfectly honest for 1080p gaming you know lowish medium settings it's perfectly fine for 60 hertz if you want to get to 120 hertz you want to get a better option of the gpu there so we're going to test out the third Thermals here we can see if I just press on this G button there's a G button and it puts it in gaming mode that allows it to use more power etc and it does get louder of course but anyway let's slam it and see what it's got and stay tuned for the full review and comparison to the Alienware check out the thermals now slamming it 100% GPU and CPU